Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to Crafters TV. My name's Ben Mosby. You know what day it is? You know what day it is? Hey, what day is it? What day is it? It's a big My favourite show opening ever. <laughs> Um, we are very excited that we've got the launch of the Pets Rule Collection. Um, before we get on to that, by the way, it's flying out the door uh, like a parrot that's got out of its cage. Um, let me tell you about the uh, fact that Hello, this is... Molly. <laughs> this is the, f the fourth of six launches of the week as part of our Launch a Palooza. Launch a Palooza! Uh, Launch a Palooza. Um, we are doing it as part of National Craft Month, and as part of that, you've got a code this week as well, which is all about sewing 30% uh, off selected sewing and needle craft with that code that code there um, there's a section on the website check it out if you're into your soft craft loads of goodies for you and of course if you're not sure if that code qualifies for something you've got in your basket just stick it in anyway and if it works it works if you do love soft craft make sure you're with us tomorrow two brand new launches with Becky Swan and we are all about the soft craft tomorrow so make sure you join us and tell your soft craft friends who we are but yes it is a really exciting day today. As much as the launches have been fantastic this week, I think safe to say we have all been very excited about uh, this launch. Pets Rule is just a must. If you love your pets, particularly your cats and your dogs, this just needs to go in your basket. No excuses today, as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to put it out there and say so much. I think it is one of my favourite collections ever. Yes, Ben. Yes, and uh, bang for buck. I just think you are going to be delighted with what you're going to get. I'll take you through everything as far as the collection and the showstopper is concerned in just a second. But let me introduce you. Well, you've already seen it with. Let, but let me introduce <laughs> you anyway. Pretend you haven't seen. Uh, to the lady who's with me for the show. There could not have been two better people to be on this show. <laughs> because I'm over-enthused. I mean, Debbie has been hopping around here like a bunny rabbit that's drank a can of Red Bull. I mean, I'm telling you, she's so excited. This is such a great collection, Debbie, isn't it? Yapping about this all week honestly hey. what a collection yes um, um i mean i would say i'm a dog lover i'm also a cat lover i've had dogs cats i've had all sorts of animals you know me and my animal <laughs> stories um but i love this collection because everyone we know there is somebody that either loves their animals or has an animal or wants an animal we are a nation of dog lovers and cat lovers we are a world of animal lovers and i just think this collection is going to really um, resonate with so many people and I'm not surprised it is going so quick one of the fastest this morning that it's been going since uh, this year I think yeah mm. we're so busy we are over 15 percent of the stock already gone uh, the comments are flying in left right and center um, I tell you what let's say a few of those and then um, we'll have a look at the collection and some finished samples and we'll get into it uh, but Polly Coe's joined us saying fabulous day to all from Blountown Florida hello also to Jeff Reese says happy Thursday Ben and Debbie and the fabulous and fantastic CTV crew. It's Nicola and Jamie in the gallery today. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, Linda's in from Maryland. Pat's in saying terrific Thursday to Ben, Debbie, Susie, the CTV staff, as well as my other crafting cuties from a beautiful New Jersey. Uh, and Sarah Brown says, hello, my lovely crafty friends, dear Debbie and beautiful Ben. Uh, the whole CTV crew, hoping everyone is doing well, sending you lots of hugs from Melbourne, Australia. Hello, you flaming galah. <laughs> Mary Pat says, uh, good morning, already ordered. Yes. Sharon Tidmus says, good afternoon. I uh, just ordered my pet's rule goodies and cannot wait to get started with them. Yes. Kathy Green says, good morning, Debbie and Ben, from a fabulous day here in Mechanicsburg. Woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo. Julie Lowe's in. Uh, very excited that the pet's rule collection is launching, working on putting together my order now. What are you getting, Julie? What are you getting? Which of the bits are you getting? Let me know. Uh, Michael Adams is in. Hello. <laughs> you um, acted like a little puppy then. <laughs> <laughs> what are you getting? What are you getting? What are you getting? They're sniffing out the deal. Yes, they hey. are. Look, Jamie said it's the same as me. <laughs> uh, Betty Gossel joins us from Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Uh, Terry H is in from Rainy, Iowa. Hi, Terry. Uh, hi to Sandra, who's in as well. I say my order's in for this and cartload. Cartload reloaded tonight. Deals are there. Check them out. Some of the best deals from the last year. Uh, and Jenny Barge is in saying hello from a rainy Ohio. Ohio. Um, Let's, should we get the details up? What do you want to do first? Look at cards or look at the, uh, the product? Do you want to look at some 
you, let's look at the cards first and I'll take you around it. This is the showstopper and I'll tell you what that means for you in just a second. One, five, fifteen percent of the stock has gone here, but let's look at the cards with Debbie because there's some brilliant samples here. <laughs> Do you know what? We always know we don't <clears throat> normally have so many samples, but no. I think the design team just couldn't stop once they got these products. Um, and I just love them. There's so many different things that you're going to be able to do with them. Um, I want to show this card. Absolutely a gorgeous design. Um, in fact, I'm hoping to get one done. We've got a, uh, um, a bridge um, type of card that yeah. I'm going to do. Completely different to that one, uh, but really lovely. But you can see that's your cats. Uh, we've got this. I love <laughs> this. <laughs> so I love him so much. I've got a demo with him as well. Yeah. Absolutely love that one. Um, do you like your pugs? There's Aww. a pug stamp in there. But look at that embossing folder. You've got an embossing folder in the background. We're going to be using that in the first demo. I love this little guy. I just think he's super cute. I'm going to be showing you how to do him as an edger ball in one nice. of our demos as well. Um, that pug again, so making your sort of shaker cards out of it. I adore this one. I think that's brilliant. You've actually got a paw print in there. So, good. Um, so even if you like, if you know someone that loves rabbits, you can put a paw print oh, on yeah. the card. So it doesn't have to just be dogs and cats. Um, love this one as well. The edger ball die. Look at this one. I mean, again, just paw prints, which are amazing. Um, now we're coming to these dies, which I think are going to be hugely popular. I just love them. Yeah, They're like a silhouette hey. die. Yeah, you're getting the bone in there. You're getting all those different elements. Uh, absolutely love it. Another different way of doing it on one of our stepper cards. Wow. Um, and then we've got the cat one to go with it as well. So uh, whether you like the cat or the dog, or you know a dog and cat lover that has both, it's going to be amazing. Uh, Jamie loves the fish bone. Me too. I think yeah, that's a brilliant cool. one. You're going to be using it throughout. Uh, there is just so many that you can do. And you can see all these amazing papers as well. We've got six by six pads. Ben's going to show you those. But it is insanely good, this collection. And I can't wait for you to get it home and start creating with it. Can you tell with the smiles on our faces how excited we are? As you knew that we would, because we mentioned it yesterday, do send in pictures of your pets over the course of this show. Um, the system's going to explode, isn't it, with all the pictures we're going to get. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Uh, Karen Fisher's joined us from Florida. Kirsty D is in. Lois joins us. Uh, I've ordered the showstopper and bonus buy for the first ever time, says Hillary. I know why you've done it, Hillary. I know, because you love your pets. Thank you for the pictures that you sent as well. I put them up on my Insta. Uh, hope Holly Holly is good. Donna Yam in um, also with this is Christy Mahoney saying this is a great set Laura's in from Seattle Evelyn uh, is in with us as well and Mary Doyle says good evening everyone from Minnesota here's the collection and everything that you are going to get I don't know where to start uh, the show stuff deal, on your, <laughs> the show stuff deal is on your screen and I'll take you through that in just a second what a price on this by the way uh, whether you go showstopper or not so this is what Debbie's been showing you the cat's whiskers is the first collection so all of your beautiful dyes in that I love the um, sort of silhouette that you've got there with the cat amongst the flowers, but you've got lots of different uh, cat dyes in there, so in different poses. And then, of course, you've got your little um, fish bones, which are very comical, very fun. Of course, we've got that for the dogs as well. This is the It's Porty Time. It's Porty Time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look at this one. Give Paul. Give Paul. It's cute. It's so cute. And then you've got a little chihuahua there, haven't you? And that one. <laughs> Little sausage, sausage dog. dog. <laughs> little sausage dog. Hey, come on. Then you've got the little uh, dog silhouette die. You've got a cute little paw print. And like, you know, Debbie said, you could use that if you don't have um, a cat or a dog. It could be any animal, really, couldn't it? You Absolutely. Know, the little paw print. There's a bone in here as well. Doggy bone. Now, <laughs> next die. I think one of my favourite die sets ever. Yeah. It's called Talk to the Poor. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? How cool is that? It's so cool. How, uh, uh, so cool. So uh, cool. How have we not had a poor I die like know. this before? It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, just great. And you've got all of those dies um, separate. So again, you can, you know, if you only want to have like three little toes there, you can, or however you want to do it. It's entirely up to you. Love that. Then what about paw prints? as a little edgeable love that one pawsome that one's called <laughs> look at the way they climb up the side of the card it's so clever how it's been done yeah it's brilliant i love it love that one then you've got an embossing folder uh with paw prints all over it again that is so cute so cool great kind of base for any project i think that is amazing and then you're gonna get all the stamps so it's a dog's life. I mean, there's tons on here. I mean, for goodness sake, there's a chihuahua in sunglasses. <laughs> Look, there's a party pug. 
Look at some of the sentiments. Yappy birthday. Hey. Uh, how old is that in dog years? Woof you. Woof, woof you. <laughs> Fur mum. Uh, time spent with dogs is never wasted. The great thing about this is I know lots of people who send cards to their pets and vice versa, people who send cards from their pets to other people, and now you've got the whole scope to be able to do this. We'll go through more of these um, stamps in just a bit, but look, look at that one. Dog hair is my glitter. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> then, oh, 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 look at the cat. Tell me that that is not one of the coolest stamps you have <laughs> ever seen. It's brilliant, isn't, isn't it? it? Brilliant. I love it so much. I think it's just amazing. I don't even think you even need to like cats to love that no. image. <laughs> And look at the cat with the party hat on. <laughs> it's just so much fun. Um, life is better with the cat. You've got sentiments here. Uh, nap, eat, stretch, repeat. <laughs> that that's is a, a cat. That's a cat, isn't it? <laughs> it's is so funny. We've smashed it out of the park here. Have a perfect day. You've got cats make people happy. Uh, yeah, you've got proud cat dad in there. So again, cat mom you've got in there too. Talk to the pa. Um, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> What's part of meow, don't you understand? <laughs> it's so much fun. And that's not even all of it, right? Because there's your hardware, as Debbie said, you're going to get two pads as well. And these are cat and dog specific for you as well, which I think is brilliant. Yes. In the back, you've got um, these uh, little bits and pieces that you can snip into, so sentiment. Um, Single-sided. And again, I think that's quite nice, so you're not having to sort of pick and choose. But like we said, Debbie, do you know what? It, it's a beautiful pad. Obviously, this one is sort of very dog-centric, but there are lots of pattern papers in here which you can yep. use elsewhere as well right oh absolutely yes i think it's a great one to have i love that we've put these in their cats and their dogs category but if you love cats and dogs and you know people that have got them you're going to want to send these cards to them um you've got bones as you can <laughs> see on there look at that one woof 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 <laughs> um more sort of multicolored bones look at that you've got a dog in a sweater i mean what more do you want really in a party hat 36 sheets in there we also then give you the um the cat pad as well and this is super cute because what I like about this one I mean you've got some really cute and sort of cartoony designs in there more paw prints in there which I think are going to be very useful some kind of sort of standard designs as well I love that one yeah, it looks like nice. the kind of um like woolly jumper that a cat would claw yes well I was thinking really I mean it leaves claw marks in it doesn't it yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it does actually quite, yeah. but look it's beautiful designs all the way through here again another one of those sort of um knitted jumper looks you've got the fish bones in here it's just brilliant uh, and that is the collection right and you can get that individually should you wish however if you go for the showstopper collection you're going to get all of these other extra goodies too so you're going to get a set of our classics in your jewel tones you'll get your um, standard tape pen you're going to get a pot of our all-purpose glue you're also going to get your um, copper glitter card which is uh, 10 sheets and you're also going to get your a4 darks in the centura pearl i think there's how many sheets there is it it says in the front here is it 40 yeah, it is. 40 sheets. Now, that would actually cost you an extra £43 or $67. Not today. It's £20 or $30 um, built into the price. So everything there for £64 or $80. And if you go for the showstopper, you get a cheeky little bonus buy. And I won't spend too long on this. Stretch pen. Whoop! where you can get all of these everyday nesting border dies for half the price on screen. Um, so £30, $35 if you're a Platinum member, that is going to be £24 or $28, which is incredible. Again, when you think about um, you know, how sought after these are, if you've been waiting for these to come down to a brilliant price, today is your day because you can pick up the showstopper, you can pick up all of these dies for half price and you are away. Just to say you will need to put this bonus buy into the same basket as your showstopper to get the discount. And of course, if you do want to pick and choose, all of the items currently are available individually, but things are going to sell out here. Believe you me, it's been so busy. It continues to be busy, uh, heading towards 20% of the showstopper gone. Right, keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're shopping for. Any questions, please ask. And also send in the pictures because in between demos, I know I'm going to have to go through and reiterate what we've got, but I feel like we're going to see pictures today and lots of them. So <laughs> let's get started, Debbie. I mean, where do you even start with such a fun collection like uh, this? Well, you just start, you just dive in <laughs> because there's every single thing you're going to want to use so i did think uh let's start um i'm going to say simple but we're not starting simple now the pets the paws the paws collection 
<laughs> the Pets Rule Collection is amazing because there's so many beautiful elements in here. So we're going to start with a few of them. And I thought we have to start with a dog. Uh, I'm going to start with the uh, It's Porty Time uh, <laughs> using all these different ones. We're going to start again with this one, and which is the border die. And we're going to use the embossing folder. So we're using quite a few pieces of this one. Um, now, what I've done is I've created a card blank already. So I've done this to my card blank is five inches by six inches and then I've actually took an inch and a quarter off on this side for our front cover and then I'm just going to pop that to the side now this piece of card here I've done by five and three quarters by five inches and we're going to use this one to create our border at the side yeah and the reason I wanted to do my card the way it is because I want to actually use this as my inside piece and instead of die cutting onto the actual card I want wanted to actually make a I wanted to make a design of the inside so all will become clear once we do it yeah so all we're going to do is take some low tack tape let's just take that one and that one and then we're gonna I'm gonna use my my um, glass mat just to make sure that I'm getting that straight edge so on the top on the bottom there and there I can see yep perfect we've got that lined up so just pop my tape down and then we're going to run that through the Gemini. So nice and easy there. Okay. Um, whilst it goes through, there's so many comments. Uh, Doreen's ordered the showstopper. We're so busy, I can't tell you. Um, Carol's in from South Dakota. Jackie's in, already ordered, hoping it ships today. Wendy says, good afternoon. Ben, Debbie, Team Social, all the crafters. I bought the showstopper. Uh, afternoon all, looking forward to a yappy show, says Zoe. Uh, Mary Shaw says, uh, good morning from a, uh, sunny northwest Florida. Janet says, I love the pets rule, very cute. They have both of my dogs, the Chihuahua and the Dachshund. Love that. Yeah. Our neighbour used to have a dash hound. Who did? Our neighbour. Oh, yeah? Yeah, love the... There's no joke in that. Oh, right. I love the dash hound. <laughs> what is a dash and a sausage dog and a sausage dog a dash hound? Are they the same thing? That is the same thing. That's oh. the make of them, but they're called... A, sausage dog's a nickname. Ah. Oh. Oh, is yeah. that what it is, is it? Yeah. Oh, sausage yeah. dog. <laughs> oh, they're cute little uh, things. They are very cute. Mm. Uh, right, so we've got our paw prints going at the side. Now, what I want to do also is I want to use my embossing folder to emboss that piece of card. Now, because I've got this first, always start with your die cutting. If you're die cutting and embossing, uh, start with the die cutting so it's already in there. And then I'm going to pop this, pop this one inside to give that paw print design. But I don't want it just plain. So I'm going to take my folder now on the front cover this is great one because where it's patterned you can see that's going to be the front I'm going to take an ink pad so I've got my ocean blue mm -hmm. and all I'm going to do uh, Ben is take it directly to my folder so just pop that all over the top like uh, so Pat is in Betty's ordered the regular collection plus some Karen buddy bags um, Hillary's in, uh, Carolyn Handy says, hello from the Isle of Man. Uh, what a time to come in when there's a pug wearing a party hat. I know. Uh, <laughs> poor Prince Times 4 says, good morning, everyone from South Carolina. I feel like we're all in more of a smiley mood today just because of this collection, Debbie. It's putting a smile on everyone's face, I think. It absolutely is. And sometimes you just uh, need a reason to smile. And this collection is definitely that one. Absolutely. Right, now for this one, Ben, I'm just going to grab, because it is a 2D embossing fold. Uh -huh. and I like to have my um, my magnetic shim as an extra shim so we're just going to grab that I thought I already had it so um, you know what's going to happen I won't be able to find it now we're looking for magnetic shim a magnetic shim oh, oh they've all disappeared have they? Should I, should I go and bet you one? Uh, no, it's okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Mm. I'm going to just grab myself a piece of card instead. Okay. Now, it's not needed, but I like to get a really crisp emboss. Um, and you never know whether it's... Because my machine at home might be a slightly different pressure to this one. So I'm just going to put a piece of card in. Okay. Um, and it doesn't matter that that comes out over the edge. I'm not going to worry about that. Because all I want to do is make sure that we really get the emboss detail embedded into our card. But also making sure that um, uh, the extra pressure takes all that dye across there. So let's just take that one out. You can see there, look at that. Beautiful. That's so good. Absolutely beautiful. So once we've got that, it's a different colour actually. I must have, 
wonder if I used a different colour. My ones, look, it's totally a different colour. I wonder oh, if yeah. I just didn't put enough ink on, or I've used a. Oh, I know what I've used. I've used my duets there and oh. not my water reactives. So you didn't do it on purpose then? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> so what I've done now is, so I've created two panels. So one panel here, yeah. um, which we're going to put onto black cardstock. That's going to go on the front of our card. And then this one is going to go inside. So this will go inside here onto our panel. But I'm also going to back that onto some black cardstock just so we can see that. So let's stick these together and then we'll start being creative with our other bits and pieces okay. in that collection. I hear we're getting lots of pictures sent in. I also hear we are very, very busy right now. It's so busy. I'm not surprised at all. Um, Sissy's saying I got this set yesterday, so perfect timing. Uh, Carolyn says, good morning from Florida. Ben, I've sent pictures of Little Bit and her family members. Ah, oh, we had some pictures of Little Bit last night, didn't we? Wait till you see, wait till you see Little Bit. She has a, her own wardrobe, Debbie. What um, a name! She's, little she's, bit. She's seventeen. I love that. She's a cute little. What was she like? A little. What was she a Chihuahua? She's a cute little dog. Um, seventeen years old. Wait till you see her anyway. I won't spoil the surprise. Uh, and Helen says, "Good afternoon, everyone from Birkenhead. What a fun launch this is. I'm sitting on the fence. This one to buy or not to buy. This is the question. Helen. 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 <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Helen." <laughs> <laughs> absolutely you've got to buy this collection there's no there's no fence sitting on this one is there Debbie if you, absolutely no if, fence if it's in your budget you've got to buy it yes you've got yeah to buy absolutely it. and I would be really worried about this one because um you know you know once they're gone they're gone sometimes yeah. and it could take a while if ever that they come back in um and I I mean I get it because you sort of think well where am I going to send it who am I going to send it you've only got to look at the stamp set yeah and know that you're going to have someone that you're going to send that to they're That's just it. amazing and if you set you can make to sell of course and I think these will be projects which will um fly um and also yes a lot of people I know uh raise money for animal shelters animal charities and these would be perfect absolutely perfect imagine you know raising a bit of money for that uh you know that dog's home or the the cat shelter near you these would be cards that would be flying off the shelves um Ali's bought says I've just ordered all the dog bits and I can't wait for them to arrive um and 20% of the collection, Debbie, has gone in oh, 20 wow. minutes. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised at all. <clears throat> it's going to be really popular. Yeah. Um, I love this set. I just think if there was, if you could just go for one thing and you, you know, your budget doesn't stretch, this is the one you go for. If you want to go for the dog or the cat, depending on what you like, this is such a versatile die. I love all these extra bits that you get and all those extra dogs, that main one, which is amazing. That's actually a create a card die as well so if I just wanted to cut that into the middle of that cardstock I could I'm going to cut the whole thing out so we're just going to use both pieces together let's also cut out these ones uh, and in fact in fact I'm going to do it out of black card and we're going to cut out some because I've already got the white one uh, let's cut them out of the black and then we can use all the others to show you as well because these dog silhouettes are amazing yeah I just love them so let's pop them to the side, have our bone. All I'm going to do is take down this one here. So the frame is about the same all the way around. How good are our designers? That I know this sounds like a silly thing to say, but just from those silhouettes, those dies, they're instantly recognisable as to what dogs yes, they are. It's absolutely. so clever. Yes, yeah, really clever. Love that. Right, so let me just grab my plates, just like so. Pop them on. It's interesting that we've chosen no three dogs as well, as if I wonder, like, we've done some research to find, like, the most three popular dogs at the moment. I would kind of agree, because that one's a lab, isn't it, the, the big one? Yeah, I would say that's a lab. Yeah, I mean, chihuahuas, we know, are so popular. And I, I seem to see more Dachshunds um, around the mix. Because, obviously, you know, my wife's a dog walker. She walks a couple of, um, a couple of uh, Dachshunds. So yeah. I think they're becoming more and more popular. Tend to, Dachshunds, more often than not, as well, tend to be uh, wearing, like, coats or sweaters the ones that I see yeah the one next door to me it was called Dougal and um, and it used to always um, be shivering always was shivering so I don't know if they're a dog that that get cold quickly so, my, I, I don't know if I can tell you this story because there's, there's a little bit of toilet humor but it, it, no, but it does make me laugh I'll tell, I'll tell you I'll tell you because we're all friends here so Laura, <laughs> it's, it's not that gross 
Um, Laura walks a, um, a little dachshund. He's called Hugo. And he's the, cute, he's the cutest little dog. And he has this habit. I've been out with him a couple of times when Laura's been walking. And you, when he does his business, right, yep. he makes this noise. <laughs> no word of a lie. And it is the funniest thing and the funniest noise at the right time that I've ever heard a dog do. If I get chance next time and his owners uh, allow it, I'll film. Oh. It's so funny. It's funny, Jamie. It's so funny. He's like that. <laughs> <laughs> Little Hugo. Anyway. And what dog is it? <laughs> what? What dog is it? It's a dachshund. Oh, it is a dachshund. Yeah. Sorry if you're eating your lunch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> very shared worst stories, to be fair. <laughs> shared worst stories, that's very <laughs> true. <laughs> very true. <laughs> uh, right, I've also cut a white one out. So we're going to uh, matte and lace. So I want that shadow effect because we've yes, used the black and white, but then we've added the blue just for contrast. Mm. Uh, and then we're just going to uh, place that over the top. So that gives us that really nice contrast. Um, over the shadow. So let's uh, bring back in that piece of card that I was using. And we're just going to put use our dotty tape pen. Helen's just said, oh, oh Ben, how can I resist? I know, Helen, you've got to, you've got to jump in. Uh, Nancy's with us, Sarah's in. So excited for this collection. Uh, my order is in. Can't wait to receive this new collection. I've sent a picture of my dog, Timber. Um, Hilary says, I've sent the cartoon Holly and Frank pics. I saw those, I put them on my Insta, they're brilliant. Uh, Anne sent in a picture of her kitty. Um, and Sue says, could you cut the dog out of that frame and replace it with the other dogs? That's a good question. That's a really good question. And actually, I don't see any reason why you couldn't do that. No. Um, I think if you didn't have that dog there and you that wanted one. to then pop that one yeah. in, you could put that just over the top. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. You could do that. Um, even the smaller ones pop them in there or you could just have it alongside that one couldn't yeah, you, you could as well. actually so, uh, put yeah. the sausage dog in Go on, just, <laughs> just the sausage dog yeah, yeah. hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you absolutely could cut that out and just have that nice and in fact if i pop it under over there have i got another i've got another white i've got a black oh, it's a black one which is a shame because you won't see it but um i was just thinking we could just do it to show you ah. because i've got a spare one so we could just I'm just going to cut that out like so and our oh, last one there so that's that one and then we can then put some sort of grass in there as well okay. so you could sort of do blades of grass gone oh. quiet in the gallery and the reason it's gone quiet i reckon is because there's about seven thousand pictures <laughs> being sent in they're all adorable so make use of this demo because i think it might be the only demo we do for the whole show because the rest of the time <laughs> we're going to be looking at It'll pictures it'll all be pictures yeah <laughs> absolutely right so let's do that one so we've just created a little bit of grass at the bottom so you could either have the dash down in the grass there I mean, it's, it'd be better if it was a white one. So, yep, yeah, you could pop that one in there. We've got the this one. Aww, on perfect. The there. Yes, can do that. And then our little Chihuahua. Although the Chihuahua reminds me of a different dog, and I don't know what. Uh, it's a little terrier my friend's got, and he's got pointy ears like that, and his hair grows from, like really long from his. Oh, I and know I the dogs I don't, you mean. I, I'll have to ask her what the dog yeah. is. But, but that little Chihuahua reminds me of her dog, so. Um, it, I, mm. uh, I suppose if you grow their hair, you could have longer hair on them. But um, I, I'll have to ask her what the what the dog is, so um, and find out. I'll have to get a picture of Bella. Yeah. Bella's like the cutest dog ever. If you've got a ball, that's it. She'll play for hours and hours and hours. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> this is uh, this collection is just. I know you say me, Debbie. It's right up my street. Everyone. I've never seen so many. Happy comments come through. Pat's extremely excited about the collection. She says she's got her order in. Uh, Betty sent two pictures of Molly. Jane sent all the pictures of her pups in. Hannah Law says, Pets Rule is in my cart. Um, it's so cute. We lost our 17-year-old mini dashed uh, Toby last year. I uh, sent in a pic of our grand fur baby, Bindi. Cannot wait to see that. Uh, and Penny's in saying, hi, Debbie and Ben. I'm going to go for the showstopper and the bonus buy. Um, are the classics like the tri-blends, asks um, Penny. 
just to clear the tissue. She's going to get the classics in the in the collection. So they're a bit different to the tri blends, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the difference is, is they're just a one colour pen. Yeah. So your tri blends are three three colours in uh, one pen. Your um, uh, classics, classics are just that one colour, but you get a chisel nib on one end, mm. bullet on the other, and they're just brilliant pens. So you get a lot more ink in one pen. Yeah. But work in the same way. They're alcohol markers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, but they're, they're an absolute steal in the showstopper. They really, really are. Because the classics on their own are £20 or $32. And you're only paying £20 or $30 for all the other bits on top of that as well. So the showstopper is a great option if you can uh, afford that today. I think that yappy birthday you've put on there is probably one of my favourite sentiments. <laughs> it's so good. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. So we're just going to put a uh, little bone there for our dog at the bottom to finish the front. But then we've got the inside. So I'm going to use the little dogs here. So we'll have one sitting in here and then we'll have this one. It's almost like this one's begging, look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please be my friend. Please. <laughs> And then I've just got a couple of bones that we're just going to literally put in the air so uh, to finish that off. But I absolutely love this. I've had so much fun just playing and trying different things out. And it's just, this, it's just a really super cute set to have. And let's uh, just pop the other one on. Stephanie's just got in and got the showstopper and bonus bite. I'm telling you, we're nearly 30% wow. of the showstopper gone. It basically, for the, every minute we've been on air, a, a percentage of the stock's gone. If it keeps going at this level, we will be sold out um, <laughs> 20 minutes before the end of the show. That's how it's going. Um, and then what all we do, says Nicola, look at more pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can just buy the showstopper, everybody, really, really quickly, and then we can just spend the rest of the show looking at pictures of pets. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> what a show that would be, eh? Oh, dear. The craft along for this is next. I want to say this is a week. I on think it's me. It's week tomorrow. I think it's me. What? I think I've... No, I think it's not next week. It's the week after. Yes, 27th. 27th? Yes. Mm. Ah, yes, it is. Yeah, but there we go. Look at our first card. Open it up. We've got our little uh, animals inside. I, uh, yeah, just absolutely love that. So much fun. And again, the simplicity of this, the ease of use of this collection, I think you're going to absolutely love. I'll quickly uh, go through the board because there's a few people asking about um, content and the bonus buy as well. Uh, thank you, Debbie. Says, hi, Ben and Debbie. Debbie Jones says, in the US, we call the Dachshund a wiener dog. We... We actually have, oh, this is brilliant. And please send footage. We actually have wiener dog races where the dogs are dressed up in different cute ways. Oh, that's so cute. That is a need to see. Uh, it's just a short little race, but the best part is seeing them all dressed up. <laughs> um, hi to Shadai, who's joined us. And uh, Pat says, my cat is sitting on my lap right now. So this is a very special morning, uh, but I'm missing my coffee right now and don't want to disturb him. Yeah, if you get a cat sat on your lap, that's them's the rules, aren't they? We don't make them, them's the rules. You, you're obviously, um, you know, very honored uh, this morning. It's the same with our cat, Nut. She, you know, if you sat on her lap, uh, she sat on your lap, that was it. And if she was on the sofa, you had to just move. That, those are the rules though, aren't they? Same with, the, same with uh, Molly. You know, if Molly's there, you don't know. You go and find somewhere else. And if you have to, yes, Nicola, you go on the floor. Don't oh, move the but dog. Please, please let us know if you have cats and dogs because we used to have them together and our cat used to sit on the end of the chair and just wallop the dogs yeah. as they went past. <laughs> it's always really funny. <laughs> I'll dig out in a minute if I can. I'll, I'll find it for you. Um, I don't know if I've ever shared the picture, but the, when um, sadly we no longer have Mac or Nut, our cat, but there's a brilliant picture that Laura captured. I'll, I'll find it and send it to Nick. Um, and it was one morning where N Nut, the cat, was very, she loved Mac. And, you know, when Mac came up to sniff, she'd sort of, you know, she'd do this, she'd nudge in, put her head in, Aww. and all that kind of stuff. And there was one morning she was doing that. Laura was uh, laid in bed and they were both there and she was stroking them. And Nut was like that, going, oh, oh there you go Matt like this and Matt was sort of going back going oh I love you not like this and all of a sudden in a split second she just went ha 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 like this and Laura has caught the moment of like not going like this ha and Matt going I'll, so, I'll send you the pictures you have to see it it's the funniest thing anyway cats and dogs eh right this is what you're going to get very quickly and then we're going to go for a break because we've got loads of people waiting to check out the, I think one of the best dyes ever I love this or yeah it's, it's actually four dyes you're getting five dyes you're getting in total to create that talk to the poor paw, paw print as far as the other dyes that you're getting in this collection the one that Debbie's just used is that beautiful 
uh, edgeable, the portum awesome edgeable. And then you've got the, uh, the set of dog and cat dies, if you like. So you've got that um, silhouette uh, oval with the, uh, the beautiful background and then all of the different dogs that, as we've seen, you can kind of snip into there and pop into that shape, if you wish, the little paw print and then the bone. And then with the cat, you get the same again. You get the, um, the three different cats in different poses, the cat in the frame, and then you've got that really funny, I think it's great, the, um, the, fish, the fish bones. You're also going to get your embossing folder. Okay, so that's got all of the paw prints on there. And then you've got all of these fantastic stamp sentiments um, for the cats and the dogs. There's loads in here. Again, We'll go, in more, we'll go through in more detail uh, with all of these in just a moment. We are now over 30% of the stock gone, heading towards a third. You get the same within the dog's life too. So again, tons and tons of stamps to be working with. Um, and then you're also going to get your two pads. Again, I'll flick through these in more detail in just a moment because I want to get you to the, um, to the checkout. So you're getting two pads, two 36 sheet pads, one for the cats, one for the dogs. If you go for the showstopper, you then get for an extra 20 pounds or $30, all of these other goodies, um, which are worth £43 or $67. So you're going to get a set of our classics in the dual colours. Those themselves are worth £20 or over $30. So you basically got your, your money back already. You're going to get your tape pen. You're also going to get in there your uh, glue, your all-purpose glue. And then we're going to give you 10 sheets of our copper glitter card and 40 sheets of our A4 Centura Pearl in the darks. That equates to £43, $67, £20 or $30 extra on that price of £64 or $80. If you don't want the showstopper, you can go for the collection on its own. You can go for the individuals. If you want the showstopper, this is the bonus buy. I think Kerry was asking uh, what the bonus buy was. It's the everyday nesting border dies, and these are incredible. If you want versatility when it comes to a die set, this is it, because you've got so many different ways to be able to use the frames together and to create different sizes frames to create different size apertures mix and match the designs around as well absolutely unbelievable you've got your seasoned leaves you're also going to get your entwined vines in there you're also getting your regency swaddles then you're going to get this beautiful amore which is all about the heart and again you've got so many um, different dies in here you've got your two frames within each one and then your um, inner and outer dies so that you can create mats and layers you can create apertures mix and match the designs around as well that's your rose garden and then last but by no means least is the kaleidoscope of butterflies 30 pounds or 35 dollars is all you'll pay for those if you pop that into your basket with your showstopper because it's half price for everyone who does if you're platinum that is 24 pounds or 28 dollars so an incredible incredible buy uh cute card thank you derry says lois um and says i'm not buying this but only because i already got it from hsn uh hayley says hi ben debbie sees you and everyone i love this collection uh, i had to get myself some extra paper pads that might be the shout for you if you have already got it have you got enough paper pads if you haven't you can get them individually uh, rosalind's joined us and also jen listen it's so busy let's get you to the checkout when we come back more demos uh, some of your picks as well we'll see too uh, but let's get to you check out and we'll come back after we see a little bit about craig I like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show, then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the area's nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in. Jump in the car, head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. As Soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. Soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, a shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. 
currently it is the weekend blinding light and it has been for about a couple of years and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa watching TV. Day to day it looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home, um, get up, breakfast, um, quick phone call with my daughter, and then I'm up in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room. If it's spending a day with the grandkids, it's that's it. That's my best part of the day, just spending time with family and those gorgeous little grandkids of mine. The best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air because I absolutely love it. Both. I prefer a shower in the morning. I feel fresher. I feel that I can tackle my day. However, depending on how that day's been, I also would have a double shower, so I'd have one in the morning and one at night too. Absolutely, 100% coffee. Will always be coffee. And flavoured coffee is my favourite at the moment. Dare I say it, a full English breakfast, the full works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage, and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. Craft along. Every day of the week, um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of a project. So craft along is definitely my favorite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> It's a, it's a given thing. I once didn't have a lipstick on me and Leanne helped me out that day. Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, just gather my thoughts and then grab my tea. Welcome back, everybody. I'm still looking for that picture. I haven't found it yet. It must have been a few years, a few years further back than I actually thought. But um, safe to say, it is so busy right now. We are over um, a third of the stock gone of the main collection. I know a lot of people are buying individuals as well. Um, you guys are just absolutely falling in love with this collection, as we knew that you would. I called it, Debbie called it, Nick called it, Jamie called it. We knew this would be popular because we all love our animals, don't we? We all love our pets. And even if you don't have any pets, uh, who's to say you won't get it in the future, but you'll know someone who does. So this collection is one that you'll just use over and over and over again. Um, we're going to look at some of your pictures in just a bit, but I think um, whilst it's so busy, uh, let's give you some more inspiration because if you're buying the collection, let's send you home with more ideas. Uh, so Debbie's got another demo up her sleeve. What are we going to do this time? Yeah, definitely. I love this one because I love this paw. Uh, it's a great one to have. So it's talk to the paw. Um, and we're going to use this to make our card. So it's going to literally do the front of our card. Took a piece of that um, papers from the paper pad um, and I'm using those sort of um, uh, in fact I've used oh yeah we are doing a cat I was thinking I was doing a doggy car we're not we've done a doggy car I'm trying to do it so we do dog cat dog cat so oh, I, okay. I'm fair to all the, um, yes. the dog and cat lovers because uh, it's very easy to get mine and um, if I probably had a choice I would say I'm more of a dog lover but I'm not not a cat lover so yeah. I'm absolutely both uh, now what I'm going to do here I've just used one of our card blank so this was a five by five card blank um, and I've literally cut my cardstock to four and three quarters and then we're going to cut our paw print directly through the center so just uh, popping that right in the middle there now when you're sticking this down just be a little bit more careful because I don't want this to really stick onto my papers and peel them off so I'm just going to take um, the oils from my skin to help just pop a little bit down there so we can then place that inside our folder so just like so mm -hmm. and then we'll run that through um, thank you everyone for all the lovely comments coming through I cannot wait to see the pictures I, I've also uh, been sent a poem through which I like you know what when we um, do look at the pictures in a bit I'll I'll read that one out um, I'm hearing giggling in the gallery because they're all going through your pictures I'm not surprised as many of these are sold because if there's as many people shopping that are sending pictures right now this is going to sell out <laughs> <laughs> look at that poor 
Trent. Yay. <laughs> so not only is it great for cutting out your apertures, it's really good because then you've got your paw print to actually put your paws in when you want to do that as well. So keep that because that'll look really cool on another project. So I'm going to pop that to the side. Now with this one, I figured because we've got that aperture, let's make a shaker card. You know how I love a shaker card? Oh, yeah. So I thought it'd be really cool to make a little shaker card behind. So all we're going to do is I've literally got my uh, main piece here um, and I've just got some acetate. So the first thing I want to do is just take away um, the acetate back, uh, sorry, the red liner back in so we can stick that to our actual pour. Okay. So that's going to go on the inside and I'm doing it as a sort of uh, see-through shaker. So we're just going to place that one right over the top like so. There we go. And then I'm going to make sure that I really burnish that down all around the edges because I don't want that coming away at all. I don't need to stick that down thoroughly because all I need it to be is that piece on there that's got the acetate. And then we're going to uh, use uh, this piece here. So what I'm going to do is take this off. Uh -huh. And then we're going to pop our sequins in the middle. You can put whatever you want in there. Um, I've actually cut a couple of the fish bones. So I thought well, we could use them in with our shaker as well. So let's pop a couple of fish bones in there. All the time, just checking where that's going over the top. And then I'm just going to add some sequins as well. So we're just going to take our sequins, pour them over right into the centre. I've got a mixture there of about a sort of gold and silver ones. And then we're just going to make sure they're evened out and then just going to pop that over the top like so. Just making sure that's covered and then we can move those around and then that's going to create that shaker card element. We've got our fish bones in there. Look how yes, cool that is. I love it. <laughs> uh, and then I've just got a piece, another piece of cardstock. So I've took out another piece like coordinate. They all coordinate, so they're going to look amazing. Just to go underneath, just to give a little bit more contrast. So we're going to pop that one in. Let's just pop that around. And then I want to use the bigger die so we can use one of the cats because I thought we can't have this without having a cat on the front. Mm. I mean, actually, if you didn't put um, the fish bones in and you put some dog bones, you could, this could be a dog card. Yeah, OK. Um, so it doesn't matter which ones you have. So all we're going to do is use this one here. So they're underneath. So we've got our cats, he's fallen off there. Have you had cats, do you say, in the past? Yeah, I've had cats, cats, cats always, yeah, always. Cats, dogs, rabbits, lizards, uh, hamsters, guinea pigs, gerbils, fish. Yeah, we've had so the many lot. animals, the lot. Yeah, the lot. Yeah, I was saying this morning about our first, our very first dog, uh, which was an English bull terrier, would not let us in the front door until we threw polos through. What? Loves polos. What do you mean, through what? Through the letterbox? Yes, it wouldn't let us in. Couldn't get in the door. So, because it would just go at the door and keep pushing the door shut. So we used to have to throw polos through down the hallway so the dog would get and then quickly get in the door. Once you see us, once she see us, she was absolutely fine. That Tara, is her name was. So funny. <laughs> Tara. Yeah, Tara. But, but a bulldog? Yeah. Tara, yeah, she was a, a white um no, she was an English bull terrier. Oh, okay. Sorry, not a bulldog, yes. Uh, right, I've stamped out already some sentiments. So I've got fur mum, but it could be, you know, a fur dad, but there is dad ones to go with them, so we're not leaving anyone out. And have a perfect day. So I'm just going to mat and layer. Let's see which ones we want to pop on there. I'm going to pop one on one side, one on the other. In fact, I think I'm going to pop that up there, that one down there, and then we'll have this on the side. So let's see if we want the craft card on the white or whether we want to do it the other way around I think maybe the craft card on the white instead of there like that yes let's do that way so and actually I don't think we need two sentiments I'm just going to put have a perfect day I like to have a play around see what you like see what uh, suits uh, and before you stick it down then you can um, see exactly how they're going to look um, let's pop on a foam pad and stick that one on See, because we always had cats when I was little. My mum and dad, we always had, well, just cats, never really entertained having a dog. And um, only had dogs since I met Laura, because her family always had dogs. Oh, OK. Um, and then, of course, we had a mixture of uh, cats and dogs. Now we've just got the, got the one dog and the two guinea pigs. But I'm, I'm really keen, maybe later down the line, at getting another cat, maybe like one from a rescue, a rescue home. 
I yep. don't know if I fancy having kittens. We've had kittens, cats. Yeah, had lots of them. Yeah. They're just all lovely. And I, I, I said this, I don't know if I said this on this show or if I, I said this in conversation with someone earlier. Um, I feel like a, a house is not a home without a pet. I, I tell, that's how I See, feel. See, now we haven't got any animals at oh, the moment. No. Then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm now going to set you off now. Um, so, no, because I understand that, and it's not because we don't want them. Mm. I was saying earlier again that um, we always, we're the, the dog sitters. Yeah. So the dogs come to us to be looked after, but um, I, every time they go, Al's on the internet looking for a dog. Really? And I, and yeah, and I have to rein him in and I say to him, look, it's not because we don't want one, we know we want a, a pet. Yeah. It's just that we don't have the lifestyle the for time one. is not right, is it? No, and the we would then right. have to get everybody else to look after them. And so, yeah, so I just feel like, yeah, we're not... Maybe so, later down the line. Maybe later. I think we will. Yeah. I think in retirement, quite possibly. But look at that, really quick and easy, nice little shaker card with that, um, and that have a perfect day. <laughs> it's honestly been I think, the most fun show, uh, and I think obviously it's down to the fact that Debbie's here, but down to the fact that this collection is so much fun. Uh, Stock-wise, where are we now, Nick? We're over 30, heading towards the third. Stand by, Nick's calculating. Um, I can say that... Um, um, Anne says this whole collection fits very nicely uh, in an 8x8 fab file. Nice. Uh, Kendall says, good morning, everyone. I have this collection from HSN, and I'll be making many birthday cards for my friends uh, who have pets. Um, uh, here we go. 40% of the stock gone. It's... I know. <laughs> it's the busiest... We called it. We called it. It's the busiest launch of the week. Wow. The reason... A, it's fantastically designed. B, I think it's a nice price. By the way, if you don't want the showstopper, you can get the collection on its own, right? So there is that option for you. Uh, but C, everybody loves animals, don't they? Everybody loves um, cats and dogs and rabbits and guinea pigs. Everybody loves pets. Um, and, and even if you don't have one, as I say, you'll know someone who does. So this collection will be useful for you to make cards for them. Or like we said, if you're someone perhaps who doesn't have pets, but maybe you support a local animal charity or a, a dog's home or a cat shelter, Perfect, because you can make to sell. Absolutely, you can. Open angel policy, make cards, sell, raise some money uh, you know, for those cats and dogs and other animals out there. It's just such a, an overarching um, collection, and I can see why everyone's buying it. Um, Darcel says, hi, Ben and Deb and Crafters team. Hello. Uh, and also to Claire, she says, hi from Gibraltar. I love the showstopper, as I have two dogs, which are called Roxy and Maisie, and I love them to bits. Right. Um, Keep checking out your carts. 40% of the showstopper's gone. I believe we're going to have a look at some pictures in just a few moments' time. Um, Sarah loves that last card. She says, such a cute card, um, Debbie. I've just messaged my Laura as well because I want to show you those pictures of when uh, my cat went uh, totally off it on my dog. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, and Zoe says, home is where the pet hair sticks to everything but the pets. Um, that is very, very true. So, like, we had a lovely poem sent through as well from somebody. Uh, Nancy, thank you for sending this through. Um, oh, this is from uh, Nancy, and it's, it says, it's a poem called RGG. It says, in the morning, Gigi and I will go walking. We'll even be doing a little talking. Long walk, medium walk, or short walk, I wish I knew, uh, but G tells me what to do. As we travel from block to block, dogs will bark. Sometimes we will hear the song of a lark. Too soon, it's time to head for home, but tomorrow we will again roam. She's been so good and sweet. Yes, it's now time for a treat. I will say goodbye to my little friend until another morning together we will spend. When mum is home and dinner time is near, she wants to eat because her wet food can't be beat. On vacation with mum to Virginia, she will gladly go with her treat bag in tow. Oh, how so sweet is lovely. that? It's so nice. How, you're very talented. That's amazing. I love that. You should, pr you should print that and put that on. Maybe, maybe make a little bit of home decor with this. Wouldn't that be a lovely idea? Um, yeah, I can see it's like it's laminated and you've got the picture of your dog there, but how cute maybe just to add, you know, little bits and pieces to it, some embellishments to it as well. Uh, I think that would be absolutely lovely. Uh, Trish Love. Oops, I've caved. I've got the showstopper. I'm calling it. There's going to be more people caving during this show. Uh, Donna says, I did it. Showstopper and bonus buy. And a few bits from the craft along. Um, and a hello to Dawn, who says, hello from New Hampshire. Ben and Debbie. Hello, crafters. Hoi, hoi, it says here. Uh, also, Melanie D says, hello, all. Uh, so happy to see the demos for this collection. I've received mine, but haven't yet 
use them. Uh, good morning, Rhonda, who says, good morning, crafty friends from a rainy, gloomy Oak Park, Chicago. Pets do rule. Uh, and Zoe says, oh dear, Sproglet, that's a uh, Springer, Sproglet, <laughs> has knocked the showstopper in my basket and checked it out. Sproglet. Z do you know what? Zoe Carver and somebody else who will message in again, I'm sure, she says it's the first showstopper that I've ever bought and the, the, you're the second person. It was Hillary. Yes, it was Hillary and Zoe, two people, first ever showstoppers. You, and you know the reason why. You know the reason why. It's such good value. It's so much fun. Uh, and Joe says, I don't need this collection. I absolutely do not need this collection. <gasps> I've just bought the showstopper. <laughs> Listen. It's useless to resist. It's useless to resist. We're heading towards half the stop. Let's look at some pictures of pets. Here we go. This is Baby oh, Buttons. Oh, I love that name. Jen Shank. Look at Baby Buttons. She's got one of those faces. You just want to kind of just go... Whoosh, 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 she whoosh. is beautiful. I mean, what a beauty. She's absolutely stunning. Um, and I love the fact she's in the craft room, as is our <laughs> next cat. Uh, Jen's other cat, oh. Luna. Uh, look at her face. <laughs> so gorgeous. I feel like you've gone, I feel like you've gone, Oi, Luna, get off me craft mat. And she's gone like, what? No, she's talk? just been watching the telly <laughs> saying, I can't make that. <laughs> 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 oh, can we make that, Mum? <laughs> yeah, can we, can we? That's so cute. Now, this next dog, I think I recognise. Yeah, this is our Susie's oh, dog, Susie. Molly. Susie's so gorgeous. Look Love Molly. Cute little <laughs> face. She's so super cute. Um, oh, she's guarding the food. I thought that was a sort of a bit of a... Yeah, a guardy face. That, yeah, oh, there's the food, you see. Keep off, keep off me food. Then we've got... Oh... This is baby my grandbaby Doug. Doug. <laughs> so this is Doug now. Yeah. And then the next picture is Doug when we first got him. He looks like he's <laughs> had like a hair, like a perm there or something. He looks like he's been to the hairdressers. <laughs> it's my daughter's dog, isn't he? So, oh, I just love him. He looks I love like a teddy bear. He is a teddy bear and he's so lovely. He loves cuddles and Aww. oh, he's just is amazing. Is he playful as well? Uh, he's, uh, no, he's over a year now. No, but so. is he playful? Does he oh, like I to... thought he said he's a baby. Oh, no, oh no. so playful. Yeah. yeah he's... Oh, I just love him. Yeah. Oh, um, this next doggy, is this a Yorkshire Terrier? Oh, look at me. A Yorkshire slash Bichon, Mia. Deb Sneary's baby. She's got a little raincoat on. She is very cute. I love her. I can't honestly control myself for this next picture. <laughs> Deb's other dog. Oh, Gracie. Look. She's got a little woolly hat on. She is gorgeous. Gracie, love that. Oh, I just want to... We should do a show where we fly all you guys over with your pets and we have you all in the studio. Oh, can you imagine? And we just pet the pets for <laughs> two hours. We will move around the room and stroke all of the pets. I would love that. Um, now, Susan, I mean, you've got a veritable zoo here with all these animals. So you've got... Wow. Is that a uh, pig? It is, uh, look, is that say Poe? Poe the pig! Is it really a pig? Oh, my goodness. Susan, look at your pets. They're amazing. Does Poe live in the house? Oh, litter box trained pig learning to play the piano uh, sits on command and spins in oh, a circle. Oh, my life. That's amazing. Susan, we need video evidence. <laughs> I need to see that. Then you've got, uh, is, that, is that Compass the cat? Yeah. And then oh. Captain and Olive the doggies. Oh, we'll, how lovely. We'll look at one more. I promise we'll do more in the second hour. Um, I know this is up Nicholas Street because you're a big fan of guinea pigs, aren't you? Um, that's Stephanie Adams. Oh, we don't know what they're called. Um, oh, Michael, these are the ones you sent to me earlier on. But yes, and then there's um, guinea pig one, and then guinea pigs one, two, and three here. Are they eating some rocket there? Looks like they are. They love a bit of rocket guinea pigs, don't they? My oh. guinea pig died when I was little, and um, my mum replaced it, and I never even noticed. Well, there you go. <laughs> we what? had it for years. I said, could it last a long time? And she went, it's because it wasn't your original one. <laughs> And on that note, uh, <laughs> do make sure you check out your carts, check out your baskets, because uh, this is a brand new launch and it is absolutely flying. Welcome, if you've just joined us, where you've been? Uh, we've had the happiest hour of the week, I think, maybe of the month, uh, with the first hour of our launch. Um, it has been so busy. It's our brand new Pets Rule collection. Um, I feel like 
Oh, I've got the pictures, by the way, that I wanted to show you. Oh, shall, I send, shall I send them to you, Nick, so we can see them on the big screen? <laughs> oh, it's the funniest. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're asking for pictures of your pets that we can show through the show. More important than that, though, here's the Pets Rule Showstopper collection. Uh, we are heading towards half of the stock. It may be even more now. Uh, half the stock gone. Um, it's been so popular. Everybody wants to get their hands on it. Um, if you go for the Showstopper, you, of course, get um, everything within the set. Let me quickly show you again, and then we'll get into some more demos here. But you're also going to get a whole host of other goodies as well. Um, it's all about the cats and the dogs. And um, I, I just... Well, I know the reason why so many of you have bought it, because we all love our pets, we all love our cats, we all love our dogs. Loads of stamps within each of these sets, so you've got your uh, It's a Dog's Life, so all of these sort of dog-applicable stamps. You've got a chihuahua with sunglasses on, you've got a pug in a party hat, and some of the sentiments are, I mean, brilliant. Doggy kisses and birthday wishes. Um, my windows are not dirty, that's my dog's nose art, one of them says. <laughs> uh, dog dad, you've got... You've also got a uh, fur mum. So again, great for sending to and from your pets if you catch them adrift. You've got the same for the cats as well. That I just love, <laughs> isn't it? It's, just, you've it's got my no favourite stamp, I love it. Yeah, I think I'm with you actually. <laughs> Cat in a hat, you've got loads of great sentiments in there as well. Have a perfect day. Crazy cat lady, uh, stay positive. And you've also got, <laughs> are you kidding me? So those are just a selection of the stamps. Embossing folder you're going to get as well with all of your uh, beautiful paw prints on. And then all of your dies are brilliant because you get your, you get your um, oval with the cat uh, within it. And then you've got your little uh, florals in there too. But then you've got lots of dies with lots of different um, cat poses. And then the fish bones, which I think are brilliant. And then you're also going to get the It's Porty Time, which is the same kind of setup with the dog. But you get the three different dogs, the Lab, the uh, Dachshund and the Chihuahua, paw prints, bones and more. Then you're going to get your Edgeable in there as well, which we saw in Debbie's first demo, which really is Pawsome. And that's what it's called. Um, I think my favourite uh, die set from the set is this one here, which is just called, I think it's called Talk to the Poor. Yeah, it is. So Talk to the Poor. I mean, how cool is that? There, there's your card right away. Um, I just think it's absolutely brilliant. If you're going for all of that, you will also get your uh, paper pads. Quick flick through these. So you get one which is dog related, one which is cat related. Just popped up on the screen details for the collection on its own if you want to go for that. Uh, so £56 or $68 for for the collection that is that showstopper option um i i do know there's a few little gremlins um but we are working on it so apologies if you can't see the showstopper and you are shopping for that um we are doing our very best to get that sorted but you can still go for the collection on its own which will also give you your cat paper pad as well 36 single-sided sheets so much fun and what's great about this as well whilst you do get lots of um, cat and dog specific papers as you can see here you've got lots of really fantastic pattern papers as well which you can take and use uh, within other collections as well like I said I won't go through the showstopper currently because um, we're having gremlins with it but there is a showstopper option uh, there's a bonus buy as well and of course if you want to go individually you can for those of you that shopped on HSN and bought the bundle uh, may I tempt you to buy some more of the paper pads that might be the way to go because you'll run out of those eventually so get more now whilst you can uh, but let's get excited and if you haven't yet seen some of the finished samples with Debbie I, as I said at the start of the last hour I can't think of two more um, excited people we, we We've just been waiting for this all week, haven't we? And it's been oh, flying. Oh, yes, it has. And I'm not surprised. I, I, we're not surprised at all because we knew it would be really popular. I didn't realise it would be that popular yeah. that we'd lose half the stock in an hour, which is incredible. But I'm so pleased that you're loving it because you're going to be able to make not only yourself, but you're going to be able to make so many other people uh, lovely cards to do with their pets, which is amazing. Um, I love this one here. Just this cat is just, the, it, it's incredible, that stamp one. It, I just absolutely love it. I love having that paw print background in an embossing folder. That looks really cool. This little dog is the one we're going to be using in the next demo. I just think he is super cool, isn't mm -hmm. he? Um, shaker cards you can make out of them. It doesn't matter whether you're using the cats or the dogs. You can literally bespoke your cards to whoever you're sending them to. Everybody, I think, most people, there's very, very few people that don't love cats or dogs. Yes, yeah, exactly They right. are those pets. Even if they don't have the pets, they will absolutely love them um, just so
so many different designs that you can do with them. So our design team have really created so many different um, uses for them. Uh, right, we're going to use the stamp set and I thought I'd show you how we can make um, a sort of aperture card without using any dies. So what I've done here is I've got myself a card blank. I've just done this to five inch square. And then inside, you can just about pick that up there. There we go, we can see it. I've actually created one and a quarter inch in. So a one and a quarter inch in here, I've just gone down, scored that line. Yep. Then we've turned it round, done exactly the same on the other side. So one and a quarter inch in, come down. Then we've done the same on the top line, that one and a quarter inch in. And then on this bottom one, when we're coming in, I've come in just a little bit of the side. I've left the middle section. Uh, and the reason being is because I want to then bring in my stamp. So let me just place that under there. Bring in our stamp set and our uh stamping platform yeah so we're going to pop that on there i'm going to have my magnets just to hold that into place and then we're going to bring in that little dog that's just on the bottom there now he's going to go in, in the middle there it doesn't have to be perfect but we're just going to literally stamp him just in that center piece let's bring them in a little bit more and another one and i'm just going to bring in our um spectrum nor uh alcohol proof uh nor black uh, and I'm using that one because we're going to colour them in with uh, alcohol pens. So if you wanted to use watercolours, then uh, just make sure you use watercolour cardstock uh, and the right ink to go with it. So literally just stamping up our little dog. Sorry, I've just sent, uh, I've just sent Nicola those pictures. Which I can I... hear Nicola laughing. The, the, I'm, there's, it's a, it's a four-part story. I just, I'll, I'm just going to send you the last one as well, Nicola, because it does. It looks like it doesn't end happily, um, but it does, and we'll show those in our um, in our next set of. Um, it's our next funny set of how pictures. photos can come out like that, isn't it? And then yeah. They don't. Um, they're right. not telling the true story. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring that same line in, so yep. where that uh, middle line is. We're just then going to trim that. So up there, so you can see that's taking that down. We're going to do the same here. Bring that across, making sure that I've got that lined up. Just to that point. And I'm just bringing it across to where the bottom of my dog is. And then we're going round the other side as well. So again, looking at this way, bringing it there. And all you're going to do is keep going round all those sides. So you take out, you're sort of gutting that piece out. And then just with your little snips, I haven't got any to hand, mm -hmm. but just cut out away. So I'm going to fussy cut around here. I just want to quickly do it to show you how I did it. Yeah. Um, so you're just going to take that round to that bottom piece and that one around there. There we go. And then you're, oh, there we go. I was doing it really quickly, only you because I've got quick. one already done. Oh. So, uh, so once you cut that out, you'll end up with this little guy here, exactly the same, but you've got those edges cut out. So it's a really quick, simple way of creating a little aperture. Now, what I also done was then I just used the same technique to use with the um, one of the papers in the paper pad mm -hmm. and the black one, and I just come inside. You can say it's not even that neat, Ben, So because I had a blunt knife and didn't have a replacement blade. So that's the one thing I would say make sure that you've got um, a replacement blade to cut okay. it with. Uh, and that's just going to go over the top. So that's creating that little aperture for us. I'm just going to turn that around till I know I've got that central in the right place. Oh, Stephanie's just message going, that's a dog. I thought it was a cat. No, it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely a dog. There's cat ones and dog ones. Yeah, that's a chihuahua, isn't it? Chihuahua. Do you know that song? Yeah. Did it, did it, did it, chihuahua. Did it, did it, did it, chihuahua. Who was I singing that to the other day? I had never heard way. of it. Huh? It wasn't it was me. Whoever was at the other side of the studio had never heard of it. Ah, oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Maybe it was Craig. Now I'm just going to put a piece of card inside and then we're going to use, so I'm using the tri-blend pens and I've got my fair skin blend, my earth brown blend and the brown grey blend. Mm -hmm. um, and all we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to pop my glasses on. Ah, oh, well done. So Susie see will be I'm happy. Doing. She will be happy. Um, and then we're just going to use um, the lightest of the earth brown and we're going to just colour this little guy in. So first of all, I'm just going to put where I think my highlights will be. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come in under here. And then we're just going to just bring this into the top. 
Um, whilst we're watching your colour, I can tell you that Evelyn Boyd has just bought the showstopper. Nice one. Amazing. Um, Linda says the bulldog could be a Frenchie too. Oh, yeah, it could be Frenchie. Could be there. Yes, very... a Frenchie. I, that's another dog that I was thinking of. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Uh, a Frenchie won the um, one of the best in breeds at Crufts over the um, the week. Ah. Did you watch? Did anyone watch Crufts? No. Ah. Uh, it's so I love Crufts. It was it was won actually by an Australian Shepherd um, this year. But I like watching it for the fly ball events they do when they get all of the fast dogs and they have to like sprint down like a stretch of the course and they have to get a tennis ball out of the machine and then they sprint back and then tag another dog in. It's like a dog relay where they have to like get the tennis balls. Has anyone else seen those? If you've never seen it, search fly ball on YouTube or wherever. If you love dogs and there's usually lots of collies that do that as well. Hence why I like it. Um, but anyway, um, Anne says, the way the whiskers are on that cat reminded me of the infamous Spowl incident. <laughs> do you know what? No, not I know vaguely, what I do. I know I do know what that is. The, what, remind me of that. So it was a demo I did um, for another channel a long while ago. And uh, I, was I was actually drawing our acrylic markers onto a wood slice. And it started off um, being an owl, ended up looking like a spider and got named. And, it, and actually, and before that, ended up looking like Yoda. Uh, but it became a, a, a spell because it looked like a spider owl. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Spider owl. <laughs> spider owl. <laughs> yes, it was uh, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel May still has that. Oh, does he? Yep, still got it. <laughs> He says he can't bear to part with it. He was gonna, <laughs> he was gonna send it out to someone, but he said it was just too good to part with, and he just didn't want to part with it. <laughs> that is so funny. So just putting a little bit of shade in. I still want to keep some of that highlight round his nose, um, and then in his ears there. And actually, with that fair skin, let's just go in with a little bit pinky in there. And then with the eyes, because he's got glasses on, I'm going to switch to my brown grey and we're going to just take the lightest colour uh, and shade into there. It's mm. good actually, um, the fact if you are short, as far as your pens are concerned, if you get the showstopper, which we're working on uh, sorting out, you do get those, um, those pens in there as well. And then just to put that light in, just putting a little bit of highlight with a darker colour around there yeah. to make his glasses look a little bit cool. <laughs> I used to put, try and put my sunglasses on Mac, deep. but of course glasses don't sit very well on pets' heads, do they? Because they don't have anything you can hook them behind. Although I suppose you must be able to get pet glasses. Oh, and no, then Frank. I've just got my uh, opaque white and we're just adding in a little bit of highlight. Yeah. So just put some in his glasses just to make him look sort of a little bit cool. A lot of people just chatting as well now about the cart they later on reloaded. Um, I, Carol, it must be of a Debbie side, but I don't have the... Oh, no, of us have it. You'd have to wait till later, unfortunately. The goodie bag for the midi that you get. It's £80 or $100 worth of free stuff, isn't it, when you buy the midi? We'll show it first thing in cartload, live at five. <laughs> live at five. It's going to be a good cool show that stuff. tonight. Reloaded some of the best deals from the year. Yeah, it's going to be amazing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Right, so I've done my frame around the edges. You can see, because it's quite a nice small image, it's not going to take too long to colour in. So we're going to place that frame over the top. And then we're going to use our inside piece of paper from our pad on the inside. And I love these because you've even got these sort of like slatted wood uh, panels. Yeah. Which are going to just go, it's almost like he's in the doghouse. <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit like that. In his little kennel. Isn't it funny because years ago, most people had their dogs in dog houses like outside. outside. Yeah. yeah. And then over the years, dogs have just become more and more uh, indoor dogs. And what? then we worry and put coats on because we think they're cold oh, when actually they've got a fur coat and they're used to the cold. <laughs> you see little dogs with booties as well now, don't you? Yeah. Have you seen dogs that go out with like, little shoes on? <laughs> when they walk. <laughs> they're like... 
The funny thing about <laughs> Very funny. Uh, Molly is that she's got used to it now, but when we first got her and put like a little like a raincoat on her or something, she'd let you put it on her, but then she wouldn't move. <laughs> she'd like stand there as if like to say, you put this coat on me, I now can't move. So you can still walk, you know, even though you've got a coat on. They're so funny. Uh, I've lost my plates. What have I done? Oh, they're here. They're right in front of me. Uh, I'm going to cut our pour out now. So I've got some gold cardstock uh, because I didn't want to just leave it blank in the background. So I thought it'd be really cool to use that paw in the background of our dog so I thought I'll just cut it out um, I was tempted to uh, run it through the embossing folder um, but I thought with all those small little pieces it would just be quicker to pop them on so we've got our little heart that I'll say heart is actually a heart design that you've got there that goes upside down yeah so we're going to just decide where I want that so I think I want that where his head is here so let's pop that down the bottom and then we're just going to glue those in place um, so Di has just checked out the showstopper and the bonus buys. Amazing. So I wonder if it's like um, just gremlins for certain people. Um, Carol Beer, uh, Garwood Beard says, I have three cats and one dog. I so want one more dog so my Aussie would stop trying to herd the kitties. <laughs> but it's quite funny to watch. Our Molly herds anything and everything that moves. She loves herding the guinea pigs. Um, obviously the guinea pigs don't run wild, but um, whenever she gets chance... Um, she will run around and around and around and around and around <laughs> the guinea pig's cage. It's the funniest thing to watch, but Collies like to have jobs, and for whatever reason, she's made that her job. Um, is your dog a border collie, says uh, Stephanie. Yes, it is. Uh, and Rosalind says, Ben, there are pet goggles people use for dogs to ride with them on their motorcycles and sidecars. Pictures, please. Dog in a sidecar. I'd love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ones that um, you see on uh, when you look online and they put them in um, on skateboards and on oh, um, yes. uh, skis. You've, I've seen dogs oh. on the skateboards. And um, like surfing. Surfboard, as that's well. it, the surfboards, yeah. yes. <laughs> All very that's, funny. Uh, yeah, aren't they? Um, I've seen some videos, it's mainly bulldogs I've seen doing the skateboarding, but that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just making sure that we get our paw prints together here. Oh, I've put my heart, I've put my heart the right way. Look, I shouldn't have put it that. You know what? I'm looking at that thinking, why is uh, it not looking yeah. right? It's because your heart goes upside down. I didn't even twig that was a heart until you said, <laughs> but yeah, you could, you could use it elsewhere now as well. There you, we if you go. Wanted. Now it's looking like a paw. Yay. <laughs> I know everyone's shouting. I mean, Debbie, it's the wrong way. It's upside down. But I worked it out. It's all good. All good, so we're just going to pop our little paw print there. I'm going to turn that over and just burnish that down so I know that that's not going to come off anywhere, like so. So that gives me our paw print behind there. Look how cool that looks. Really uh, good. And then the last thing I've done is I've stamped out that dog dad, and I thought that would look really cool with um, uh, in an oval die cut. And then I've just cut it off to put it at the bottom there. Yeah. And then I did have my little. Um, I had a sentiment somewhere, so I've just got to find it. Um, I've left it in the bag, I think. So let me just take it out my bag. And then we've got another sentiment to put on there. Sorry, keep you waiting there. What I've loved about these projects, though, again, Debbie, is that, do you know what? They look the absolute business, but, the, you know, they've been fairly quick makes, haven't they? And I think hopefully achievable for everybody again. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's a set you don't have to overcomplicate too much, is it? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, mm. it is one that you can be quite simple with, or like you say, you can... Um, uh, go to town. Yeah. So I've got doggy kisses and birthday wishes, uh, which we're just going to pop over to that one. So I love that. And then we've got dog dad, but obviously you've got mum ones on there, so you can put that on. But it looks like you've got your little dog popping out of its little kennel. <laughs> so we're just going to place that underneath there, right underneath. Then our dog dad. I mean, how cute is that for some a dog dad lover? I mean, a great Father's Day card that would be um, if your uh, dad is a dog lover. That's for sure. Ah, uh, just unbelievable. I love this collection. I love um, how it's made everybody so happy today. Um, I love the fact that um, you guys have absolutely loved the collection as well. Seeing the amount of people are going. Um, I've gone for the showstopper. I'm jumping in. I'm grabbing it. Um, I know we are still having a few gremlins with that. I am confusingly seeing people saying that they bought the showstopper. Um, I can't see it currently on the website, but I think we are doing our best to try and 
get that sorted. Um, maybe we'll have a little break in just a second and get the powers that be onto that. So apologies if you do want to buy it. Um, we will get that sorted. Uh, Carol Goa Bid says, I have to say, I was on the fence on getting the pets, but I'm so glad that I did. This is going to be so much fun to play with, and I can't wait. Uh, puppies and kitties this weekend. Cute! Um, if you just want the collection on its own, there it is. £56 or $68 is your platinum price. We'll recap on everything uh, very shortly indeed. Uh, and we'll have a look more at your pictures as well. So uh, keep sending those in. I know there's tons, probably enough to last us. Uh, to next Thursday at this rate. But thank you, everyone. Get uh, checked out, and we'll come back with more inspiration in about three or four minutes' time. In the meantime, here's Becky Sworn. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. I've always crafted, um, I think because my parents worked at Shepperton Studios, I, I lived, I grew up at Shepperton, um, they were always working so my holidays, my weekends and my evenings were spent at, at the um, studios and I just sort of sit around with the other artists and they'd give me a bit of clay to play with or some fabric, um, so we were, I was always making things and there were a couple of us, a couple of children around the same sort of age and we just used to make clothes for our, our Cindy dolls. I'm flighty with my crafts, um, I want to try everything so I go all out out and I decide tomorrow I'm going to be doing candle making and I buy all the stuff and I make candles and then I lose interest and I move on to the next thing. I want to be able to have a little go at all sorts of crafts and I've always been like that ever since I was a small child so I think I can turn my hands and give anything a go. My craft inspiration I think comes a lot of that comes from the internet, looking online, being able to watch um, sort of artists producing bits and pieces as well as sort of um, you know, just general crafters but a lot of my inspiration came from um, sort of my mum and my mum's friends which were all sort of um, great designers and um, people that, that created all sorts of different things. The Crafters TV audience have been so kind to me. So when I first started, and I've not been here a huge amount of time, and I've done a little bit of presenting, I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting, and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in. You know, we see the same same people, and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do, and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made and when they've been inspired by the shows. I and that's great. My biggest achievement, it's, um, it, it, when I put it on social media, I said that I was more proud of this than I was when I had my children. Um, it was when I won um, a, a demo of the week. I was just absolutely gobsmacked that I'd won demo of the week. I don't often win demo of the day, so to win demo of the week, I was really, really super excited. Oh God, I can't give you the gossip because I promised that I wouldn't give any of the gossip away, but it is great. Um, we, lots of us stay overnight in a house here, um, which is brilliant because we all get to know each other on a like real personal kind of level rather than just colleagues. So it's a really great atmosphere. And there's so much to learn from all of these people that I work with. So I, I feel really quite blessed um, to be part of this. And um, it is a happy family, I have to be honest. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome back, everybody. So we've done a bit of um, Sherlock Holmesing, if that's such a thing. Uh, unbelievably, well, not unbelievably, believably, but unbelievably, the showstopper has gone. It's gone. It's gone. Like a dog fetching a ball. It's gone. Very quickly. What we are trying to do, and I don't hold me to this, I believe the powers that be are trying to eke together another showstopper bundle, but I can't 
guarantee that that will happen. So what I would say is if you want to get this collection, you can still get the collection on its own. You just won't get all of the added extras. If you want to chance it and hang on and see if we can get another showstopper put together, you're welcome to wait. But if you just think to yourself, well, actually, I just love all of this stuff. I just want the, sh the, the, the new collection. Jump in and grab that now. Um, but if I hear that we have got a new showstopper bundle, I will let you know as soon as I hear anything in this ear. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's read some comments, look at some more pics, and um, then we'll get on to another demo. Uh, Linda says the outline die of a house from the spinners would work perfectly um, with the dogs. Anne says my dog loves his sweaters, he hated the rain, so I bought him a cute little raincoat. Did not help at all. Uh, and Stephanie says the glasses fussy cut out and insert the new film in the lens part. That is it, the illusion film. I love it. Should we have a look at some more pics whilst we wait for the next demo? Guinea pigs! Oh. Did you, have you had guinea pigs, Debbie, did you say? Yes, I've had guinea pigs. I've had lots of guinea pigs over the years, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we had a really massive, hairy one. Do you, know, <laughs> do you know when they're just really big and fluffy yeah. you can hardly see their faces? Yeah, mm. like a big pom-pom. Yeah, it was our, amazing. Our two, are, I would say, they're, I've not had guinea pigs before, they're big. They've got massive bums, <laughs> guinea pigs. They've got really big, <laughs> chunky bottoms, oh. our two. Yeah, bluebell and sunflower. Oh, but that's nice. They're very cute. Uh, next up, look at this oh, kitty cat. Look how big that cat is. Robert. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oh, Jen, that's your other cat. So you had Luna, didn't you, previously? And I can't remember the name of your other one, but he's a big cat, isn't he? He's massive. He's massive. He's lovely, though, a lovely boy. <laughs> Hello, Robert. Hello. And then this next picture. <laughs> this is brilliant. Silver Cloud. Is that, is that a grimace? Is that a, oh, it's a mid-sneeze. Jen Shank's dog. Oh, my goodness, that's so funny. In mid-sneeze. He's a husky. Um, that is such a great pick. I thought she was going to say that's him smiling. <laughs> I'll tell you the reason why he's sneezing. He's next door to Pepper. Ah. <laughs> um, Pepper belongs to Susie. Oh, look. Cute. He's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And then. Oh. Timber. Look oh at Timber's bandana. Lord. Look how beautiful. Timber wow. is a pomsky. And he's. Very beautifully brushed. Look at that fur. No, belongs to Sarah Ibbotson. Is oh, a what's a Pomeranian it. slash husky? Husky, very nice. Um, oh, he's beautiful. Jess is our next dog. I feel like we're doing crafts here oh. with all of these um, beautiful pictures. Oh, she is gorgeous. Is she a lurcher, a greyhound, rescue greyhound, Chazelle's dog? Greyhounds are the most, I well, I found gentle, docile, yeah, friendly so dogs, nice, aren't they? they? They're such wonderful they're dogs. They're beautiful. They're mm. so graceful, aren't they? Yeah. Um, love Jess, Shaz. And then, then we've got Gracie. <laughs> Gracie's other dog. Oh, so you've got the big greyhound and then teeny tiny little Gracie. What's well, she got in her mouth there? Is that just a little teddy bear? Yeah, she's got a little Ted oh, that she's she ripped to shreds. Now, um, Hillary sent these earlier on. I saw these. They're brilliant. But she's um, the two dogs that she knows, she's put into like this. It's obviously like an app, isn't it? And made them into Pixar characters. Oh, that's so Do you know nice. Frank with the goggles? Yeah. That's Frank. <laughs> and then um, everyone's favourite Collie. Holly Collie. Holly Collie. <laughs> that's so cool. That's very cool. Love that. Uh, and from Holly Collie to Holly Kitty, Who's got a little um <laughs> <You're> <laughs> bib. Who, does, who does Holly Kitty belong to? Oh, Sarah Ibbotson. Guess Holly's age, wow. Um I reckon she's about sixteen. Okay, I was gonna say around that. This is when she's three. Uh fourteen. Wow. Oh, I was gonna say seventeen, but I thought I'll go sixteen, yeah. Such a great age for a cat yeah, that. Yeah, amazing age. You go, Holly. Uh, <laughs> next up is a bag of fun look. <laughs> what is Rue doing there? I think Rue's having his belly tickled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, go ahead. <laughs> I love it. Who does Rue belong to? Uh, Jay Dowling and Love. Oh, I love We Rue. love Rue. Um, back to the kitty cats. This is uh, Molly. Oh, my goodness. Molly looks just like my sweep. Really? So, sweep years ago used to be the one that rung the doorbell. He used to get oh, on the yeah. ledge of the windowsill yeah. and run his head up at the doorbell, ring the doorbell, and then jump down and come in. Aww. <laughs> it looks identical to our sweep. So cute. Um, and then we've got 
Bindi. Oh, Look no. at little fluffy Bindi. Oh, my life. She is beautiful. Bindi belongs to... I saw the message about that earlier. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think who it was that messaged me. Oh, there's so many pictures come in. Bindi. Well, she's very cute anyway. Thank you for sending in the picture of Bindi. I mean, there's tons. Of, we're going to be here all afternoon at this rate. I don't mind. I uh, think no, well, carry... OK. Oh, that's a shit Tzu, isn't it? Uh, yes. It is. I, I know think. that because I've had a Shih Tzu. She was black and white though, and a uh, mm. little Tia. So well, she's gorgeous. Look, at, their eyes are amazing. Bella's eight, and then we've also got some pictures of um, projects that people have oh, made already. already. Yeah. Oh, uh, different. So these are our panel dyes that we have. Uh, yes. Oh yes. Oh, but wouldn't they work brilliantly together? Yeah, they would, Ben. Absolutely. Um, Love and, that. And just to finish off, so here's the four parts. These are the pictures that we found. So this was um, my dog, oh, Mac and Nut. Yeah. So they, oh, they were that's such a nice picture. So this is this is um, this is what happens over the course of about this is about ten seconds. So Nut was there, and Mac was sort of going, "Oh, can I have a little? Can I have a little hug?" And then the next picture. <laughs> <laughs> Nut's gone, all right, you can have a cute little, go on, I'll, I'll give you a little, <laughs> I'll give you a little hug. And so Max has gone in with his nose and then all of a sudden this happens. <laughs> Look at Nuts, look at Max's face. <laughs> she's proper gone for him. He's got out of the way. Oh yeah, you wanted a cuddle. Yeah, but... she's like, get off. <laughs> but it all ends happily. After the, the hit, oh, she kissed they were him on the nose. Again. Like, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what got into me. I know, yeah. Cats, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Thank you everyone uh, for sending in your pictures. I'm so glad I managed to dig those out. Um, happy memories of, um, of my pets, certainly. And it's the same as well, you know, for you guys, isn't it? If you have had pets, I think it's a great way to kind of, you know, rekindle memories. And also, you know, if you have got pictures of your pets, print them off, create home decor pieces. I, I just think it's the, um, the kind of set that you can absolutely uh, do that with. Right. Um, Margaret says, I'm so glad I'm alone in the house. My mouth is gaping open uh, watching Deb at work. Um, she says, uh, my mouth is all dried up now. I need a drink of something. And oh no, I've just missed the trash truck. Uh, <laughs> carry on, uh, Ben and Deb. And Donna Yam says, I'm thinking this collection would also be fun incorporating the Cheers to You collection. Whatever you guys want to do. It's such a fun, happy collection. Um, let's get back into another demo. Uh, we are staying with the main collection, which you can still pick up all of the individuals. We are still uh, waiting on a potential new showstopper. I can't confirm whether we're going to be able to do that. We might. As I say, if you're not fussed about all the added extras, then you can still get the collection on its own. If you do want to look at that and potentially get the bonus buy, just do hang fire. And as soon as I know, I will let you know. But let's get back to, uh, to Debbie. What are you going to create for this next? Are we cats or dog dogs now? Cats. 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 Uh, we're going to use that cat stamp now. So I feel like we've gone through the dies. We're using the stamps. So I'm going to use this one here, which I absolutely love. Um, and then we've got the little paw print as well. So I'm going to use this one as well. Uh, this time we're going to use mm. this uh, by placing it on the top of our card blank. So um, I've just got myself, this is a five and a half by five and a half inch square. This is going to go just at the side. When you're placing it down, just make sure you've got it the right way so your cut line is on the edge of your card. Uh -huh. So we're literally just going to open up our card, take some low tack tape, stick that down, and just make sure that it's straight at the top and the bottom. Okay. So I'm just putting that to my glass mat and then making sure that I've got an even amount each side. So just there and there. If I stop moving my card, there we go. Oh, uh, just take that down. And if you tape it down on the outside, if it does tear your paper, it doesn't really matter because okay. it's not going to be noticed. And then we're just going to, in fact, I'm going to place that onto my Gemini Junior plates, even though I'm using my G2. Can you believe we've only got 25 minutes left in the show? Uh, I know, it's gone so quickly. It? It's been a whirlwind, though, and so much fun. I think, um, uh, I mean, I always think our shows go really quick anyway, Ben, but they go super quick when you really do enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. And when you get a range like this, it just never stops get a give in um, it's like Jamie said it's really hard to not enjoy it and mm. for the time to go quickly I almost don't want it to end I want to keep creating I want to should we do some more making. later in cartloads <laughs> should, we be, should we be rebels <laughs> what do you guys want to see at home more pet pictures and more more with this set or a cartload <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, right, so we've got that one. And then I want to cut that again. So use that same one, pop that on the end, and we're going to cut that out of black. But I've already got that cut out, so you don't need to see me do that because I want to get on to the stamping. Now, I've bought some nesting dies with me. I can't remember what these come out of, but they were just some shapes. I'm terrible with my nesting dies, Ben, because I have them on my wall, well, on the sides of my cupboards on um, magnetic strips, and I just take them out of the packs and have them to hand so I can use them. But any stitched uh, nesting dies you can use. So I've got three different sizes here. So I want to cut one out first of all. I've got my um, uh, Nina cardstock. So the smallest one we're going to cut out of that. Then I want another piece which we're going to cut out of this one. Um, and then our last one we want to cut out, the bigger one, I want to cut out some black cardstock as well. So yep. let's cut those ones out. So like I say, it doesn't matter what um, nesting dies you've got. Any nesting dies will be uh, fine. Yeah. This is pretty much going to be covered, so I'm not worrying where I cut it. Um, let me just make sure that it's the top there. Not that um, that really matters because we're only going to see the edges. And then our last one, this one here. And this is the one that we're going to do our um, stamping onto, the small okay. one. And that works perfectly with our edge. Um, Dawn's enjoying the show whilst crafting. Stephanie says, great pics of the pets. We enjoyed the pets gallery. Uh, Janice says, we bought two male guinea pigs on holiday. We got home to discover we actually had one male and one female and she was having babies. Bargain. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't listening then. Sorry, oh, Ben. Sorry. I was, um, you stopped yeah. in your tracks then as if I'd said something... <laughs> No, it's because I realised I was being really rude and not listening to you. But oh, no, it's only fine. because I was listening to Jamie, not it's you. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, Michelle says, got the showstopper plus two extra paper pads. I have a Doberman and a yellow lab. And Zoe, thank you for your message. I didn't quite say what you thought I was going to say, did I? I stopped myself, thankfully. Uh, but they have been laughing about that in my ear. Uh, thinking, oh, you said, I, was like, I didn't actually quite say that thing. But I uh, rewired the tape. But uh, don't actually rewind the tape. But um, no, what you said, I know I can't say what I nearly said at this time of the day. Thank oh, well, you. I don't even know what you nearly said. Oh, well, I'll tell you, I can't say it. I'll tell you after the show. Uh, <laughs> more pet pics, please, says Rhonda. More cats and dogs, says Pat. We'll do uh, as, as many pics as we can um, later on in this show. Um, still waiting on that showstopper. If we can get more, we will. Uh, but you can still get the full collection and all of the individuals too. As I said, if you've already picked up the collection, I would think about getting more of those uh, paper pads as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think you get three am i right in thinking you get three pages of each you certainly do there's 36 sheets 12 designs three of each yeah so and it's really worth getting another paper pad that's for sure yeah i think they're going to go really quickly because of the themes of them yeah um, i think they'd be hugely pop popular uh, right so we've got our uh, pieces here then we're going to do some stamping so let's bring this one in um and our in fact i don't think i need our stamping matt i'm just going to bring in our rocker blocks mm -hmm. and we can place that stamp i love this stamp i absolutely love is it this a cat in the bow tie again <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Just, uh, it's, he's just brilliant and super all of these are really easy to color in i've got that bit grubby but never mind um yeah they're super easy to color in now i'm going to use um tri blend pens again so we're going to use our alcohol proof ink so making sure we've got plenty on there we're going to rock from heel to toe yeah. and we're just going to make sure that's straight and then just go from heel and then rock forward and that gives look at that perfect every time wow. I love him absolutely love him so once we've got him in place we're then going to uh, color him in so I've got I thought because of the papers we're using these are the papers I've already trimmed out so we're going to pop them onto black and then I've obviously matte and layered this one and then this one is going to go on top of there just so it coordinates when we put it onto our topper mm -hmm. so let's bring in that piece of card so we can color onto um, and then I'm going to use our burnt orange blend so uh, oh actually no I want the gold brown blend the burnt orange is actually for his little bow tie so let's color the bow tie and I'm just using in fact I'm just going to switch over because I've made that a bit grubby and I do have one here so just switch that and then color those in um, just whilst you're coloring um, Sarabi's so mum's saying, just try to check out, but it now says sold out. 
Um, are, there more, are we having gremlins in the system here? Because I'm. Um, we'll, we'll try. Oh, we'll try and find out. We've still got this bundle available, but the, the showstopper has sold out. Wow. I thought you were saying we were sold out of the main collection there. The main collection is available, but the showstopper, we, that's the one that we're, we're trying to um, put another collection together. Uh, apparently, Sharon is on the case, but as I've said, I can't guarantee if and when that's gonna happen. I can only relay message to, messages to you that I'm hearing in my ear. So apologies, Sarabi's mum. If you want to wait for the, if you want to wait for the potential showstopper coming back in, then you can. As soon as I know if we've got one, I'll let you know. The good news is we do have a deeper stock of the collection on its own, so there's no kind of massive rush to to check that out. So if you do want to wait and chance it, I would say you're probably okay for the time being. So what happens, you see, isn't it, when we get collections like this? The world and his wife wants to jump in and um, and, and grab them. Yeah, I um, didn't. I honestly didn't think it would be as busy. Mm. That's um, that's ridiculous that the showstoppers sold out. I know. Apologies, apologies. I know. I feel like our computer systems obviously didn't keep up, or well, maybe I didn't keep up. Blame me. Blame me. Mm, we blame you. My fault. We well, can blame you. Yeah, it usually is. Now, the good shoulders. thing about this, Ben, is you've got lots of fur detail to, mm. to follow. So you can really keep that um, sort of light and shade, uh, pop that where you want. So we know sort of around his glasses, we're going to have that more darkness under his nose. Um, but you literally follow the line of the fur. Yeah. And you'll just get a really cool image coloured in. Your illustrators would be good here as well, right? With They'd the be amazing, absolutely amazing, yes. Mm. Yeah, they'd be perfect, in fact. Got a deal on those tonight on Cartload. Really good deal on the illustrators. If you want to um, shop the show, all the deals that are there and live and ready to go. So no surprises as such this evening. So you can shop and um, check out before the show if you wish. I feel like I've had a bit of a crash down now after all the excitement. I feel like I've had a bit, you know, you get like a sugar, a sugar crash and you're like all high and then you <laughs> gradually sort of slow. I feel like that. I've had like a, a pet crash. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a pet oh. crash. <laughs> I do need to go for a cat now. Ah, yes. Ah, I love that. <laughs> uh, right, so now what I've done with this one, a little bit different, and I didn't do it with the other one. So let me show you both so you can see. This one I cut down the front, but actually the one I did at home, I did it down the side of the card, so over the front. So it actually makes it a tenfold card, mm. so a tentfold card. So you could do it whichever way you want, but I've done this one to size with my black card because I want to just shadow a little bit of black behind so I've already sort of cut that one two sides just so we can have that extra dimension with the black going down there uh, so we're going to pop this together we've got our inside card here so we're going to pop that onto there and then stick everything together so let me just grab my tape pen and we're going to mat and layer this onto our black cardstock in f oh, oh, I was just going to mention, sorry, I was going to mention the showstopper and it's gone. So make sure you get some darker colour cardstock because then that's going to go really nice. I'm sure we would be able to get our uh, Centura Pell the Darks on the website. Yeah, today. absolutely. Um, uh, uh, just apologies again, I've just been made aware that we're now showing that the uh, main collection sold out. It ha I don't think it has. <laughs> I think that is definitely Gremlins. Oh, okay. Apologies, everybody. Um, we're trying to get our guys to um, work on this as a matter of um, urgency, um, because obviously it's very frustrating for everybody. But um, just if you can bear with us, and I'll, I'll let you know as soon as that, um, as soon as that comes back. Right, so then we're going to pop this, oh, <laughs> throwing it around, uh, pop this into place. I'm just going to make sure roughly where it's going to go uh, to where I put everything. So first of all, I'm going to put some tape around the edges. And then all I'm going to do then is use my dotty tape pen to go in on this side so we know that that's going to stick. So just cross there. There we go. And then I know that when we come to put that on, that's going to stick in the right place. And we're just going to have that shadow effect slightly over. Like 
so. Fab. So what's Max's favourite thing to do? Molly. Not Max. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so right. used. I'm still not used to you not having Matt bless him. No, um, Molly's favourite thing to do, round stuff up that doesn't need rounding up. Does um, she let go of her ball when she gives you the ball, when she plays Oh, yeah, ball? she knows we've, she has a leave command. So if you tell her leave, like even if you're playing tug, you go leave and she'll leave it. Oh, OK. Yeah, her favourite thing to do at night time, as I think a few of you will have seen on um, videos that I've put up, as soon as I get in, she sees me as like Mr Play. So she knows, <laughs> like, she, yeah, she wants to play. So as soon as I sit down when I get home, she'll come up and she'll drop a ball. And if I don't then throw that ball within, I don't know, five, ten seconds, she'll then go away, go back to her toy box, pick out another toy and bring that over and drop that in front of me. So I'll have like a ball and then maybe, I don't know, a fluffy <laughs> dog or something. And then she'll look. And if I don't throw that within about five or ten seconds, she'll then go back to her toy box and so on and so forth until I end up covered in balls and uh, cuddly toys and all this kind of thing. So she, she loves, she just loves to play. She's, <laughs> she's like, she's funny for the fact, we always say that she's got all these different modes and when she's in, so if she's in like work mode, she, you can't stroke her. Like if you try and stroke her when she's in work mode, she will sort of back away because she's too busy doing stuff. So oh, you have to okay. wait till she's in the right mode for the various things she wants to do. You get cuddle mode with her at the top of the, uh, the day. In the morning, she's up for a cuddle. And last thing at night, she's up for a cuddle. But the rest of the time, she's just on high alert, either job mode or play mode. Uh, good news, I've just been told. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The uh, collection is now back in stock. That's good news. Not... The showstopper, though, just the main collection. I, um, we, I'm just hearing in my ear, though, update. This wasn't supposed to be one of those shows. Uh, update, apparently, we've now uh, got one of our, another one of our team working on putting a new showstopper together. So that's exciting. Uh, Sarabi's mum says it's good now. I was able to order the collection. Yes. Uh, and Crafty Angie says, I've got my order through for the collection. Nice. Uh, Carol's just asking, Debbie, is this a five by five or six by six blank that you're making? It's actually a five and a half by five and a half. Okay. Yes. So uh, I'm just going to double check on that. Yes, five and a half by five and a half I've done okay. it for. Uh, I, made the, I made my own card blank. So, um, uh, yeah. So it, it allowed for this border then down the side. Um, then what we're going to do is um, literally I put um, what part of meow <laughs> don't you understand? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sassy dear. cat. Uh, and then we've got that uh, little uh, fish which I absolutely love. I think really finishes it off. So let's stick all this in together um, and um, and that will finish. Our... Oh, I haven't finished my card. I've got to find some papers to put on the inside. Oh, yeah, of course. I had one, but it seems to have disappeared. So... Um, in fact, what I'll do is just use the edge. Oh, nearly had an upside down card there. Let's pop that in the center. And then this one. Well, I'm glad it's appeared back so people can still buy the collection. That's good. That's it. And as I say, I'm, I'm ever hopeful now we've got a few people working on a, another showstopper that we might get that done as well. Uh, Tara Wade says, we've got four dogs and they are the loves of our life. Three Dachshunds and a mixed breed Chihuahua. Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Carletta mixed says, breed. Hey, mixed breed, yeah. Uh, and I have a cat named Holly, says Carletta, that plays fetch with her cat toys. Holly seems to be the most popular name. Oh, yeah. We've had that quite a yeah, few, haven't we? Yeah, we've had quite a few today. Yeah, My mum and dad have got a cat called Holly. Ah. Mm. I know lots of Bellas, lots of dogs called Bella. Oh, yeah. I think that's got sort of more popular, hasn't it, over recent years? Yes, definitely. Uh, right, I've got this scrap piece here, so rather than waste it, I'm going to just use the corner of that. So let's just chop that one down, because we can then still use that in the background. Like Your so. owls just messaged because I was talking about Molly having all these different modes like yeah. play mode, work mode, and he's just messaged saying, Ben, is Molly fashionable? If she is, then she'd be a a la mode. <laughs> Do you think he wants your job? <laughs> I think he's gunning for it, isn't he? I think he's gunning for it. I do actually quite like, I genuinely quite like them. Yeah, um, he laughs at your jokes as well. I got Laura with one this morning, which made me laugh so much. So I, I like it most if I'm telling a story that people don't think is going to be a joke and then it ends up being a joke and getting their reaction. So this morning I said to Laura, I said, oh, I said, you never guess what? I said, I was chatting to Pete. 
next door who's got a dog. And I said, um, Pete was telling me that he can, um, his dog, Woody, can uh, bring a ball back from half a mile away. Seems a little bit far-fetched to me. <laughs> Get it far-fetched, because he's gone <laughs> half a mile. Anyway. Uh, there you go, I finished cat. the card then. <laughs> he's a great cat, isn't he? And just so uh, great to colour in, because really quick and simple, um, and sim yeah, just amazing. We Absolutely brilliant. Um, I feel like I wish we could have had time to squeeze in another demo, but um, it, it, the show, I don't know where the time's gone. It's absolutely flown over. Um, let me show you again the collection, then perhaps we'll have a look at a few more um, samples with, uh, with Debbie. As I say, as of right now, uh, we've got all the individuals available for you. We've got the collection available for you on its own. Working on a showstopper, that's all I can tell you. If, if I get an update before the end of the show, um, I will let you know. Um, and if you got the bundle on HSN, don't forget, if you're tempted, if I can tempt you, you can pick up more of the paper pads because I think it's nice to have more of these. And these, I, I think, I'll show you the paper pads first of all. I think these are very useful as well because, of course, you've got your cat's life one and your dog's life. They have got um, cat and dog sort of skewed um, designs to them. But you've also got a lot of... Um, patterns if you like which you can use for every day so i think it's a really really handy one to go for love all of the colorful paw prints you know plenty of snippability you've got your um your gingham in there as well love that uh, this one is in the cat one obviously because that's the kind of sort of it's almost like a woolly jumper sort of knit that you can imagine a cat clawing you know you've, just, you've, you've gone to the shop you spent 50 quid on a new jumper and the cat's jumped on you and snagged it the first time you've worn it uh, but look Lots of beautiful prints. You've got some plaid in there. Uh, really gorgeous. Um, so worth stocking up on those if you've already got the collection. Um, just to make it go even further for you. You've then got your dog's life. S same again here. You know, you've, you've got the sentiments that you can snip out of the back. You've got three pages of each as we were talking about earlier on. But the paw prints you've got. Love that where you've got the dogs that you can snip out. You've got little terriers in there actually, which is really cute. You've got the little dashans in there with the jumpers on again you've got plaid you've got gingham all different colors lots of different colors of paw prints love the fact that you've got that wood effect paper in there too uh, the bones of course love that one with the woof really really gorgeous pads so you can go for those individually but within the collection you'll get both of those pads so 72 sheets of paper also i think this is brilliant you've seen debbie using this um today as well the um talk to the poor so just a brilliant it is right up there with one of my favorite dyes ever this collection is my favorite collection ever and this um paw print has got to be it's just such a brilliant dye isn't it because whether you're creating like an aperture creating a shaker with it or using the waste to um, stick onto your project it's just so so handy this is awesome as well which again you've seen debbie using the edgeable with the paw prints climbing up the side of the card really cute really fun and then of course you've got your two die sets one for the cat one for the dog this one's called it's party time where you've got the uh, beautiful silhouette of the dog in the um in the in the window there in the oval you've also got the other dogs too and as we've seen if you want to snip out that dog and pop in the others you can but you've got your dashand you've got your chihuahua and of course the little labrador who's giving paw give paw go on give paw give paw there you go sugar boy and then you've got the bone sorry and also the uh the paw then for the cats again you've got that beautiful cat in the um silhouette amongst the i want to say that's fox gloves that cat is amongst there but anyway yeah i think it is fox gloves then you've got the three different cat poses so cat having a wash uh cat relaxing cat going i'm ignoring you don't know what you're on about, don't care, I'm a cat, not listening, talk to the poor. You've also got your fishbone in there too, so that's all really cool and fun. It's just a fun collection, but to smile on your face, doesn't it? it I've seen so many messages of people saying, oh, I've been a bit down in the dumps, or you know, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get this, now I'm smiling. Look at the embossing folder, for goodness sake, with all of those cool uh, and fun paw prints on. And then the stamps, I mean, my, 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 tons of stamps some really fun sentiments uh debbie's favorite i think stamp of all time this one here yeah, the cat with no tie in the glasses <laughs> but the sentiments are fun you've got more imagery in here too and it's nice because you've got sentiments which will match your cards and then sentiments also which means you can send cards to your pets because i know people like to do that but you can also send cards from your pets to other people which again i know is a really really big thing uh, you've got the cat selection and of course you've got all the dogs in there as well uh, chihuahua in glasses pug in a hat i mean what more do you want from life really what i can't offer you anything else uh, it's just uh, i'm done
56 pounds or 68 dollars for that collection go individually should you wish uh, but let's have a look at well we can have a look at debbie's cars that she's made and then and then have a look at some more um, projects as well but i mean i mean debbie you always have fun when you're here you're always smiley and giggly but i feel like you've had even more of a good time today oh absolutely i've i can i mean really i have loved working with this collection yeah. it is so much fun i love the fact that you get those paper pads with it it's a great collection to go for and if you can go for both because you'll always be making them for someone if not yourself i'm also thinking while i've been standing there, i was thinking these would look great in um, scrapbook pages as well there's so many of you dog lovers cat lovers that have those pictures like your pictures ben and you yeah. can put them into scrapbooks which are going to be amazing and all these different embellishments I love someone sending in that photo where you've got the actual uh, panel dies that we did with the cat and the dog as well there's lots of other things that you can use them with and I've just done four in the last couple of hours but then let me show you the design team yeah. what they've made because they're just so amazing um, I absolutely love um, this poor edgeable die I think it's a great one it's going to go a long way um, all these uh, sentiments that you've got in there I mean it's the first time we've done a really large sentiment like that big eight by eight sentiment yeah. pack just for dog lovers and just for cat lovers and I love that and I also like that we've included the dog mums and the dog dads on them the cat mums the cat dads uh, we've really included everything in there the papers speak for themselves they're just going to go really well that fish bone that cat, that's a beautiful <laughs> so card good. that one uh, Nicola's done that one uh, Nicole's done that one absolutely beautiful um, yeah the dog silhouette the cat stamps the papers the embossing folders uh, that <laughs> paw I mean uh, another really great one to have uh, everything is just amazing to use and you're just going to get really creative with it I love the way that these cats just sit on a ledge um, they've really done them a, a great design there with those cats we've, we've got a great design team haven't we that design all these and then that little dog again I'll just show that as the last one absolutely beautiful uh, I just love it um, and I can't wait to see what you'll make with it as well because you will love it as much as I do yeah I'm going to save the show says Pat Debbie has knocked it out of the park with her card making today Thank I have some you. ideas for some scrapbooks as well yeah scrapbook pages memory albums for your pets I think is a brilliant idea um, my Molly also fetches and brings me die cut butterflies says Betty <laughs> now that is a well trained a well trained pet isn't it a, a, a pet that you can train to go and fetch your tools for you I mean that's the dream isn't it having a craft room and you've got your dog or your cat and you go uh, oh Rover can you just go and get me some foam pads <laughs> And off goes Rover, brings back the foam pads. <laughs> you could, well, it's, it's particularly dogs, you could train them to do that, couldn't you? Um, Stephanie says, my cat Badger loves to play fetch. Um, and Janice says, my cat, oh, here we go. My cat Simon loves to chase ice cubes. Yeah, dogs love ice cubes. It's a cat. They? Oh, a cat? Yeah. Oh. Don't ask, Jamie. Jamie's just gone, in what scenario? I don't know. When they I, fall out the freezer, like I do, I'm terrible. Yeah. You have just like the ripped hole in your ice cube bag that you pull out and then you get a large, hunk, hunk, like a large yeah. cluster and then they all fall out on the floor. I just hope <laughs> the cat isn't like fishing around in your gin bowl, you know, trying to get the, uh, the ice cubes out like that. We used to have a family cat called Daisy and we had, um, <laughs> funny as hat, Daisy, um, and we had um, goldfish at the time and you used to have to keep an eye on it because we had like a goldfish in one of those old goldfish bowls and the amount of times where she'd be sort of sat in the lounge very quietly sat by the goldfish bowl just doing this <laughs> and you'd be like daisy and then she sort of sit there as if you know butter wouldn't melt so funny aren't they pets and it's great to hear all the stories great to have all the memories great to see all your pictures but this is the kind of thing a collection like this evokes you know it's gonna uh, get you printing off those pictures to make scrapbook pages to make memory albums uh, oh right at the end of the show uh, if you want the showstopper it is going to be going back on the website in a matter of moments showstopper alert Arruga! 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 don't know how much we've got i've literally, literally been told in the last 10 seconds uh you're gonna have to be how many less than 100 so go when you see the showstopper get it checked out um, and we'll be back later on with more cartload reloaded until then bye for now <laughs>